Hello and welcome. Well, it has come time. <laughs> time to rearrange this mess. This is mostly my made to move collection, but as you can see, there are some dolls that are just uh, articulated and aren't made to move. But most of the dolls are made to move and Mostly Barbies, but there are also some non-Barbie dolls. Mostly uh, dolls uh, the way they came, but some have uh, new hair, some have new face. You know, my kind of favorite dolls. Uh, I'm not gonna rearrange these girls and guys over there, but we'll focus on this mess because... Uh, after I got the new Barbie looks, the mess is real, and also we have uh, this part you can see, dust, I have to dust, and more dolls, and even down there I have those. so uh, I, I won't be messing with the creator monsters, honestly, maybe if I move the creator monsters somewhere else, and just leave this space for the Barbies, it's fair, because uh, my monsters have a lot more space than the Barbies, let me show you. You know, like, clearly up there aren't only monsters, but yeah, they have a lot more space than the Barbies. So, I don't know, but I really like... The little thing that I did there, they're also dusty, I have to dust them. Maybe I'll tackle this as well, I don't know. I don't have space to put them. I cannot put them on the shelf with the other monsters, they just won't fit. And I really like them, so... But I don't do anything with them. And also, the shelf they're in is very monster high themed, so... I don't know, but I will start by removing those from the shelves and we'll we'll figure it out. Wow, that's a lot of dolls. A lot. I took everybody down and I kind of sorted by little piles. These are all fashionistas. These are mermaids and these are cutie slash color review when this girl is between the two because she was both a mermaid and both a uh, color review. These are others and mostly you can be anything type of Barbies. These are older Barbies that are on made to move or articulated bodies. Not all of the bodies here are made to move. These are basic dolls. Uh, these are uh, BMR, these are other um, collectible dolls, let's call them, that aren't BMR and aren't looks, but are of that type. And these aren't all my dolls, I do have one more shelf, okay, I forgot to be right back. <laughs> now that's everybody, so I was saying, these are dolls inspiring women, um, Barbie style, Barbie roots, uh, some movie, uh, dolls, that kind of, I don't know, uh, I decided to fit them together. These are dolls that haven't been swapped, except this girl, but I just didn't have her original made-to-move body, but she comes on original made-to-move body, she's the basketball or football player. These are uh, Barbie Extra. Uh, these are others, you know. Mostly non Mattel, but also Dumbledore, who is Mattel, but he doesn't fit. These are repaints. And here, because they don't fit on the bed, we have all the Barbie looks. Yeah, I don't know how exactly will this video go, but... Maybe I can count them? We'll see. I started cleaning up, but I just wanted to 
use this moment to show you these little things that I have arranged here uh, because it's not usually visible and I have hard time showing it but I have this little wardrobe which this doesn't open what do we have here? nothing <laughs> we have little shopping boxes here uh, some dresses some little thingies and uh, also a little vanity with stuff you know these things aren't usually visible so i wanted to use this video to show them off i'm thinking to put the wardrobe like that because usually to push it in the there because usually i try to separate this space because i want this to be a bedroom and like a kitchen stuff but uh, i don't have time to film my doll stories anymore so it's better to utilize the space to have the most uh, space because i have the most those <laughs> one day maybe i can be back to to filming uh, my doll stories which were a comic book sort of thing by the way oh also this a friend of mine made it it's a little printable magazine very cute come on focus it's too tiny and then we have <laughs> this very cute stuff i do have more of these here little magazines on the shelf yeah you can see how dusty it is i have to clean everything up also this is very dusty again i have to clean up and i have so much stuff in the drawers which i cannot reach so i have to think i love my doll rooms but i have too many dolls to have doll rooms i should have doll shelves i don't really have the space for doll rooms sadly Everything is covered in dust because I can't uh, access it regularly. <laughs> yeah, let's let's clean all of the dust. Also, the kitchen, this little area with the couches and the other bedroom. Uh, I got interrupted, but what I was trying to say is having as many doses i have uh, doesn't really work with having uh, so many doll rooms because i have only one shelf and i have turned it into uh, doll rooms and it doesn't work because the point of a doll room is to uh, be able to see the room but when i put all the dolls you don't see the room so kind of pointless so you know, I'm not going to uh, like destroy my doll rooms because I really like them, but I did some rearranging that hopefully will give me more space. And I'm gonna put the dolls by categories a little bit is what I will try to do. So uh, maybe I wanna film little segments to show you all the dolls that are on the bed right now so maybe let's do that this is category one these are barbie vmrs and i don't have all of the barbie vmrs and maybe she should have been with uh, the repaints but i don't know i wanted to put her here because she's still a barbie vmr she's also body swapped but still made to move um, I love these dolls. These dolls is uh, what started uh, Barbie looks. So let's do Barbie looks next. This is the first part of my looks. I'm not arranging them uh, by anything. Just their Barbie looks and they're here. Uh, just if you want to ask me something about a certain doll, uh, this way, when you see them groups by groups by groups, you can count left to right, 
doll number three and tell me uh, the minute and seconds and ask me and I can answer you easier. Let's bring the next ones. And here is the next little group. Again, everybody Barbie looks. Yeah, I can 100% say that Barbie looks is my favorite thing that Mattel has ever done. They're just amazing. And I love every one of these guys. These guys almost equally. I'm gonna be a little mean and say that I love her the least. Just the hairstyle is the problem and part of me is considering a uh, full reroute but we'll see. We will see. Let's bring the last looks. By the way, are you counting how many dogs? These are all the Barbie looks, except one. Uh, let's see, can you tell me except which one? Which Barbie looks we didn't see? <laughs> That's a little quiz for you. And uh, yeah, let's put them on the shelf and next, I'm not sure who I want to do next from the little piles. Let's, let's see, let me put those and I will decide. Next, I decided to do uh, style dolls slash celebrity dolls slash uh, something of that sort because uh, she is Wonder Woman as Gal Gadot. These two guys are from uh, Twilight. This is my very wonky Vera Wong. This is uh, Barbie Roots, and they two are a Barbie style. So don't ask me what she's wearing, she was in a story, uh, I guess I'll change her. So I'll put them next on the shelf, uh, very lovely dolls that I love a lot. Maybe she is my favorite, no, no not maybe, 100% she's my favorite from this lineup, but the guys are also super cool, these guys are cool. Vera is cool even though she's wonky. One day maybe I will be brave enough to repaint her and give her a proper face, but let's put them on the shelf and do the next dollies because we have a lot more left and this video is gonna be long. So strap in. Okay, here go the fashionistas. They aren't all 100% on made to move like this girl, she's on lip doll body, but they're the most I think that I have of one series that I have for the body, so let's do them. Uh, if you ask me which fashionista is which number, I really suck at the numbers. If I was good at remembering the numbers, I would have, you know, done them by ascending order or something of that sort, you know, following the numbers. But I don't remember numbers, so, you know, if you ask me about numbers, I will have to <laughs> go and look it up on those D. But uh, you can try. I, I would just <laughs> know that they, they are all. Uh, Barbie uh, fashionistas that have been head swapped and also by the way for most of them I have videos so let's do the next uh, lineup and here is the next batch girlies only and next I think I will do I do have a few more uh, fashionistas but after that oh Lights are off. Why? What happened? Uh, I don't know. I guess I stepped on the lights. I will fix it. Uh, but I will do. You can be anything type of dolls, like you know, uh, profession dolls who I have head swapped onto many to moves. Um, yeah, let's let's go.
Okay, so first for fashionistas, and then we have cook, doctor, scientist, judge, hiker, which I guess is not like a profession but a hobby, uh, firefighter. She is from Skipper Incorporated, so she is babysitter and rockstar. So yeah. When they have professions and not numbers, it's easy for me to remember who's who. Um, next, I think I will do just your regular make to move Barbies. Let's do it. No, them and someone else. Maybe basic Barbies. Yeah, that's, that's what I'll do. Let's do it. Barely. I was barely able to fit them, but so starting from him up to this girl. All of these dolls are made to move, uh, sport dolls. Well, he's a fashionista, but he's a wheelchair fashionista. She's not on her original body, but this is the head of the basketball player. And uh, then uh, all of these girls are yoga pants dolls and then all of these girls plus the sitting one are basic dolls they are the cheapest uh, dolls that are just doll with shoes and dress and they're absolutely beautiful so i have had to them and as you're seeing i'm trying to cram as many as I can in one frame to show off because yes I'm trying to show off all the dolls but also I realized I realize how just <laughs> how much I made my work harder because I wanna rearrange all of them but also <laughs> also I don't know how I will fit them like I haven't I don't know if I have put away half of the dolls but I feel like I have even, you know, I'm not halfway done with the dolls, but halfway done with the space, something like that. So we'll see what will happen. But yeah, let's let's do uh, mermaids, cutie reveal and Barbie extra next. So. Uh, cutie reveal, cutie reveal, cutie reveal, color reveal. I think is how these girls are. Yeah, and then mermaids. Plus this girl, she's also a mermaid, and you know he's the merman that we all went crazy about. And I absolutely love mermaids, and I love the cutie reveal clothes when they are uh, swapped. She's the only one who isn't. No, this is. Uh, the body of the Barbie roots and then uh, this is a lift doll body so they are the only two who aren't made to move all the rest are completely made to move and I'm gonna go put them on the shelf and I will bring in the Barbie extra and maybe someone else to fill in the, the entire shot okay let's go I surrender. I want to finish this video in this style, but it's gonna take way too long. So here are the Barbie looks. Just rearranging so many dolls takes so much out of me. So yes, these are my Barbie looks. Looks, sorry, oh, my brain is fried. Barbie extra who are on my to move bodies. This is my other style. So, Steffi Love, Hasbro, Harry Potter, uh, Cindy's boyfriend or something of that sort. He's Mattel, but he's Dumbledore and he doesn't really fit in with the Barbie, so he's in the others. And these are the Defalusis that I own. And these are the repaints. So, this is Mini Me, Granny. This guy I have named Gosho. 
um, I have forgotten what his name is, but uh, <laughs> he's a bounty hunter. Uh, she has recent video on the channel. He has video on the channel. He's the bad guy millionaire, Mr. Zlatkov. And she is not my repaint, but she's a repaint and I won her a while back. So these are the repaints, uh, all of them, except him, he's on action man body and her, she's on Moya Mia articulated body, the rest are made to move. And yeah, let's put them on the shelf. And last but not least, honestly I don't know where will I put them? How did I get the dolls out and have less space? I don't know, usually it's the magic of you get the dolls out and you have more space. I don't know what happened, but anyways, these are older Barbies that have been put on a made-to-move body. Some of them are rerouted, some aren't. They're all amazing dolls, but I'm running, running out of space. Let's see if I will be able to fit them in there somewhere because yeah this took a very long time <laughs> this is why I do it very rarely let's go <laughs> my Barbies have reached critical mass uh, like no space for new Barbies but this is the arrangement they are mostly visible, mostly. Some are sitting, some are kneeling. These guys here, you know, the bike is really dark. The lights, well, some of the lights do work. I do have the fairy lights here. Yeah, it's a little bit better, but not, not great. Uh, there you go. This is everybody who is here. We have lots of people there. Lots of people here. <laughs> and yeah, the kitchen. Literally, I ran out of space. So yeah, <laughs> it happened. Um, I ran out of space. It's a good thing that I'm gonna try to buy less those because yeah anyways i guess i guess i'm done i am super tired i am super tired after this i didn't even touch the create a monster girls and i threw out some of the furniture because yeah there was no way i could fit everyone with all the furniture in especially furniture that doesn't sit people like yes this uh the wheelchair sits but uh also takes too much space this little cute thing doesn't sit anyone so i will move it away and yeah thank you so much for joining me for today's video i know that i'm supposed to <laughs> <laughs> to sound like happy because I have so many dolls and believe me I'm happy and I love every single one of these dolls these aren't all my dolls that I own and I'm not talking about also the monster highs uh, these are all the articulated favorite dolls that I own I have drawers upon drawers of uh, other dolls that I don't have space to display this here is my only space plus the monster high shelves that i showed you in the beginning and i do realize that that's a lot of space you know some people i know don't have even half as much space as i do i'm not complaining i'm just tired from cleaning it took me a few hours to do that but you know my dollies are dusty do they look better? Not really, because it's just too many of them, but it's fine. It's better because they're clean and because I got to see every 
one of them. Honestly, there was no one I had forgotten. I I know every one of these dolls and can tell you something about them that made them special to me. And thank you so much for joining me for this chaotic long video. Actually, I don't know how long it's going to be. Uh, but it felt really long to me. And come back within a day or three for another video. I'll see you in the comments where I will answer any questions you have. And I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.